When a Jewish person returns to the land of Israel, it's called Aliyah, which in Hebrew means to ascend. Out of the ashes of the Holocaust, Israel was born as a place of refuge for the Jewish people, offering safety from anti-Semitism and the chance to build a better life. But a lot has changed in the past 69 years. Today, while many still come here to escape hardships, more and more young people are leaving behind comfortable lives in their home countries to take part in Israel's future. Samantha is part of this new wave of Aliyah. She came here by herself just two years ago, following her own sense of destiny. I was living in America. I was um, studying in New York City and I loved living there. But I often felt like, for me, something was missing there. There's something that I have done by just being in Israel that it's serving some larger purpose for me. In New York City, I had everything at my fingertips. So it, it does feel like I have given up things, but you know what? It's okay here. I love my life here and I wouldn't trade it. People like Samantha come to Israel not only with passion, but with skills to contribute both to the country's rapid development and to its growing economy. Before I moved here, I had always heard that Israel was the startup nation, mm -hmm. but I didn't understand what that meant. Now I actually work at a startup, and it's cool to be a part of this culture of very young businesses and great innovation and great new ideas and really makes me feel like I'm contributing to the future of this country in a really, really awesome way. It's crazy and hectic, but it has an amazing energy and it's really, really cool to be a part of all of it. Every new immigrant who plants their roots here is continuing the story of Israel, adding their own touch to the cultural landscape and fulfilling the promises of God. Bringing Jewish people back home is an integral part of the country's vision, and no organization has played a bigger role in bringing that about than the Jewish Agency. Over the course of our existence, we've brought 3.5 million Jews to this land, um, and we're tremendously privileged to continue that process today. We view this as a national project of the Jewish people. Um, it's something that is considered to be of extremely high value to all Israelis, um, and it is really a consensus issue within this country. There wouldn't be an Israel without immigration. Israel was created in order to facilitate the ingathering of the exiles. Um, what we're talking about is a people that had been dispersed around the world, that had undergone terrible tragedies and difficult times throughout history, and now we have a place to come home. And the fact that Israel exists offers that home to, to many people around the world, some of whom come because they have to, because they're fleeing uh, adversity in their countries of origin, but many are coming because they view Israel as a land of opportunity. It's important to understand that immigration is part and parcel of why Israel exists. It's not just another element of its government's activities, it's why this country came into being. And so Israel will do whatever it needs to do in order to facilitate that process and enable as many Jews from around the world to come home. The regathering of the Jewish people isn't only a part of Jewish heritage, it's the plan of God. And God carries out His plans through those who follow Him. The International Christian Embassy Jerusalem represents millions of Christians' love for Israel. They stand with the Jewish people in many ways, including active support of Aliyah. It started uh, already in the early 80s. One of our leaders says, I feel God spoke to me. We have to help the Jewish people to come back to this land. Here are 200,000 US dollar. We need to charter a flight and we need to bring Jewish people back to Israel. Till today, there are around, I, I guess, 125,000 Jewish people that only the Christian embassy helped to come back to the land of Israel.
The prophet Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 49, says, I'm going to stretch out my hand to the Gentile nations. Means God says, one day I'm going to use non-Jewish people and they will carry your sons and daughters back to their homeland. And this is exactly what is being fulfilled before our eyes and what we are doing and many other Christians are doing. For me personally, this is a, one of the most exciting stories in my whole life, to be involved with fulfilling biblical prophecy. This is so incredible to be part of how God is writing history today in front of our eyes, and I can play a tiny role in all that. Every single Christian, I believe, has a call in this role that uh, God is ingathering the exiles and the outcasts of Israel to return back to their homeland. It's, it's a huge privilege and it's a huge blessing to be part of that. Mm -hmm.